Well, well, well. Here's Mama Bloom's brood. in the Bloom home. Mama is preparing breakfast as Papa comes into the kitchen. Sit down, Jake. Sit down. What are you standing around for? Breakfast been ready for ten minutes. Uh, Mama, I don't feel so good. What's the matter with you? My stomach is a little mixed up. What did you put in your stomach? It got mixed up? Nothing. Uh-huh. From nothing, our stomach don't get mixed up. Mama, I tell you, I had nothing. Well, what kind of nothing did you have? Did you have sausage nothing or did you have liverwurst nothing? Yeah, I had a little liverwurst. But how could that hurt me? One little piece? <laughs> One little piece, he says. For 22 years, Jake, I told you not to eat liverwurst. But, Mama, I like it. It don't like you. All right, I'll give you something. Mama, Mama, remember, no castor oil. Who's giving you castor oil? Yeah, but every time you fool me. This time I wouldn't fool you. I'll give you something, you'll take it, and in a couple of hours you'll be ready to eat liverwurst all over again. All right, Mama, but please, no castor oil. Are you a child that I should have to give you something under a unanimous name? All right, all right, give it to me quick. Hi, hey, Mama, I tell you I'm a sick man. Don't worry, darling, your insurance is paid. Insurance. If your insurance is paid, nothing can happen to mm. you. You think the insurance company wants to lose money? <laughs> Come on, Jack, here. Take it quick, swallow down. All right, Mama, here. Right down. Fui, <laughs> Mama. Mama, you gave me castor oil. All right, Jack, don't work yourself into an aggravation. You took it, in a minute you'll be all right. Now, eat some breakfast. But castor oil is no good. I don't feel a bit better. How can it do you good so quick? Even castor oil needs a chance. A chance, a chance. Maybe I should lay down for a little while. Sure, that's a good idea. Put back on your pajamas. And depends, too. Today you'll take it easily. Yeah, but what'll happen to the business? The office will get along without you. Besides, what good are you in the office? Making faces like that, you'll scare the customers. But I gotta go downtown, Mama. I tell you, Sam, for one day, can do without you. If anything important happens, he'll call up. All right, Mama, give me a pillow. I'll lay down right, right here. Here's a pillow, Jake. Take off your shoes, you'll feel better. I don't want to take off my shoes. Here's your slippers. All right, Mama. Oh, Mama, you better mm. call up Sam. All right, I'll call him. Mama, there's mm. the tiger blast. It's on the table right in front of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. Thank you. Hello? Hello, is this the True Fit Knee Pants Company Bloom and Zeph proprietors? Yes. Well, this is Mrs. Jake Bloom. You'll connect me with Mr. Sam Zeph, please. Yeah. Hello, Sam. How are you? This is Becky Bloom. How's Dora? Oh, you don't say. Is she going to the country this year? Why not? I don't blame her. That place, I don't like it either. Mama, tell him I'm sick. Yeah, Mrs. Roth was telling me from my place in the Catskills with the finest food and every afternoon bridge with prizes and very reasonable. How much was you paying last year? You don't say. Well, last year we paid $5 less and we had an extra wind in our bedroom. Mama, if you please, you'll tell him I'm sick, please. Yeah, I'll tell him. Ask Dora what she's doing Tuesday in the afternoon. And if she's doing nothing, she'll call me up and we'll go someplace, Mama, huh? Mama, will you please tell him that I am sick? Yeah, yeah. Sam! Sam, Jake is suffering from liver sausage. And he's very, very weak, so he won't come down today. If anything, what you should want, you'll telephone him, yeah? Uh-huh. All right. Goodbye. No, Mama. What did he say? He said Dora's going to a new place this summer. But what did he say when you told him I was staying home? He said, all right. But is he a partner or a slave drover? Mm. No, Jack, take it easy. 
just sleep and have a nice day of relapsing. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'm tired. Well, lay then. After a while, I'll make you a nice plate soup, and your stomach will feel like a new man. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it'll do me good to take it easy one day. Sure. All boy could no plate makes Jake a sick man. Yeah. Uh, Mama, if mm -hmm. Sam calls me up, you'll wake me. Are you asleep already? If I was asleep, could I answer well, you? Well, go to sleep then. It does every man good once in a while to take the day easily. Sit around, do nothing. Tomorrow morning you'll feel fine. Yeah, I guess you're right, Mom. <laughs> the day off will do me good. Of course I'm right. Lay quiet now, huh? Yeah. Say, but the fishbane from Atlanta comes in. Who's going to wait on him? What's the matter with Sam? Don't he know the prices? He don't know what prices I give fishbane in Atlanta. I thought everybody got the same prices. Pretty near everybody gets the same prices. But a customer like fishbane, you got to handle him different. <laughs> you see, he likes to bargain. So if a number is priced, uh, we'll say $15 a dozen, you got to ask him nineteen fifty. Then let him talk you down to $15. That makes him happy and it don't cost you nothing. How do you know he's coming in? How do you know he ain't? If he does come in, Sam will handle him. Mama, don't worry me about fish being in Atlanta. If he comes in, let him let him break a leg. <laughs> I'm a sick man. Oh, I right, don't me. aggravate yourself, huh? Every time you tell me not to aggravate myself, it aggravates hey, me. Jay. <sighs> Jay. Uh, what do you want, Mama? Uh, drive in a couple nails here, please. A couple nails. Well, what are you hanging? I'm hanging up a picture. What kind of a picture? Let me see it. It's a picture of a man fishing in a little boat. What for are you hanging up a picture of a man fishing? Do you know the man? No, he's a big man in history. A big man in history fishing? Sure, look at him standing there. Let me take... Ay, Mama, raise me. What's the matter? <laughs> this picture is the picture of Washington crossing the Delaware. And he ain't fishing? What's he standing up What's for? What's he step? I don't worry me, Mama. Well, where do you want the nail? Look, right here. Put the nail here. Mm -hmm. You got maybe a hammer? No, look, I'll take off my shoe. I'll give it to you. All uh, right, but how can you drive a nail with a shoe? All right, all right, Jake. Here, here's a chisel. All right, give it to me. I'll use the handle. Oh, oh. Now, what did you do now? What huh? did I do? I hit my thumb with the chisel. I told you to use the shoe, didn't I'm I? I'm worried about the business. A day home fight will do you good. Yeah. Well, I think I'll go to sleep. Sure, go to sleep. Say, Mama, if Sam mm -hmm. calls me, you'll wake me up. Yeah, I'll do Jake, hmm? hold up this chair a minute. I want to fix the carpet. You hold the chair, Mom, and I'll fix the carpet. Pull it, it'll be closer to the door, huh? All right, how much closer? Eight or nine inches? Not that much. A foot close will be enough. Mama, how can I pull the carpet when the table is standing on it? All right, help me move the table, then. All right. Well, where will we put it? Put it put it over there where the china cabinet is. How can I put it where the china cabinet is? We'll move the china cabinet in the hall. But the dishes will fall out. Right, let's put the dishes in the kitchen. All right. You'll be very careful, Jake, huh? Don't take so many at a time. It's six so many. Jake, take only what you can carry, I huh? can carry six. You'll be careful, Jake, Don't huh? You're going to me. break them. No. Oi, oh. I told you, Jake. Leave alone the dishes. I'll take them out myself. Mama, I think I'll lay down. I'm tired. Why did you stay home from the store for? Sure, lay down. Mama, if Sam calls up, you'll wake me up. Yeah, yeah. Jake, push around the vacuum cleaner. Uh, oh, all right. With this button, you catch on the electricity, and then you push it the other way, and it catches it off. All right, Mama. Hey, what's this bag for? In this bag comes up the dirt. Oh, it catches much dirt. Jake, don't open it. But I'd like to see the dirt. Dirt is dirt. What do you want to see it for? <laughs> oh, Jake, I asked you not to open up the bag. Now you got dirt all over the floor. Go in the kitchen. Standing there's a broom with a shovel. Sweep up the dirt in the shovel. Yeah, but where'll I put the dirt? Put it back in the bag from the vacuum. Say, Mama, I could throw it in the fireplace. Jake, that reminds me. Yeah? Go downstairs in the cellar and bring up some wood for the fireplace, huh? Oh. Big pieces of wood or little pieces? Big pieces only. Little pieces make too much ashes. All right, but I'll bring up some little pieces, too. All right. Too. Before you get the wood, sweep up the old ashes and carry them down in the cellar, huh? Mm -hmm. Jake, Jake, not fit that broom. What? Oh, in the backyard, you'll find an old broom. Honest, a man is more oh, trouble right, around Mama. the house. Anything you ask him to do, he makes so much fuss, it's better he didn't do it. Say, Mama. Yeah. In the backyard, there's no broom? It's a little broom without a handle. Look for it. Mama, it's no big broom and it's no little broom. You I didn't look. I looked. I tell you, you didn't look. Put on your glasses. I looked with my new glasses and it wasn't there. Are you going to believe me? You're going to believe a new pair from glasses. I, I tell you, on the back porch is a broom. On the back porch? You sat in the backyard? All right. The back porch instead of the backyard. I know exactly where it is. It's under the icebox. Mm. And what? Jake. Mm -hmm. While you're out there, empty the pan under the icebox, eh? I emptied the pan, the broom. Now I'm all mixed up, Mama. How can you be mixed up? Listen to me. You go out on the back porch. Yeah. You empty the water under the icebox, yeah? yeah? You bring in the broom. Mm -hmm. You sweep from the fireplace the ashes. Mm -hmm. Carry the ashes down in the cellar and bring up some big pieces of wood for the fire. And then lay down. Remember, yeah. you're a sick man, huh? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Huh, oh, Mrs. Levine? No. No, I couldn't do it. Jake is home. Yeah, he's got to leave a sausage stomach and he's staying home from the office to get a day from rest. Uh, 
And you know when Jack is sick, you gotta wait on him hand and foot. Some other time, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you call me and I'll come over. Uh, Mrs. Levine, how's your husband? You don't say. Yeah. Some night, maybe you'll come over, yeah? All right. Goodbye. Well, Mama, was that Sam? Did he call me? Now, if he calls you, I'll tell you. Now, lay down, huh? Oh, that's what I'll lay down. Hmm. Jake? Mm, what do you want? Are you asleep? No. You're sure you're not asleep? Mama, if it'll help you any, I'll swear to you. Well, uh, how do you feel, Jake? I don't feel so good. Ah, it's that liver sausage. Don't worry, if you're not better than now, we'll call the doctor. Doctors we don't need. It's always best to have a doctor. Mrs. Harris told me only last month that the people who live right next door to her on 138th Street last year mm. had a cousin in Boston, a man who was never sick a day in his life. But you believe what happened? So, so. So what happened? One day he came home. He complained he had in his stomach a slight indigestion. He was smart, too. He didn't call a doctor. Two days later, they buried him. But what had they been eating? What difference does it make? They buried Didn't him. Didn't they know what he was eating? How did they know what he was eating? It could have been liver voice. Oh, Mama, I'm beginning to feel very sick. Jake, what you worrying about? What's a little pain in the stomach? Should I call the doctor? No, 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 Mom. I don't like a doctor. They always want to cut. If a doctor cuts, he has to cut. Yeah, but I don't like operations. Jake, today in the hospital, you get the best from care. It ain't like it used to be. You get flowers, visitors, jelly. Mama, you know something? I'm starting to feel better. Aye, that's the voice sign. Uh -huh. If you have to have a operation, you have to have a operation. What can you do? Mama, you've already got me in the hospital being operated on. I got you. The doctor's got the you. The doctor... Mama, give me my shoes. Where are you going? To the hospital? No, no, no. I'm going to the Store. He's a dying man and he talks about the store. Give me my coat. Jake, be careful and don't go to the store. Listen I tell to me. you, Mama, for the last time, I'm all right. Jake, listen. Goodbye. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello, Sam. No, he just left for the store. Did Fishbean of Atlanta come in? No? Well, anyway, he left for the store. Yes, Sam, he feels much better. Huh. There's nothing as good as a quiet rest at home. Thank <laughs> you.